Hello, I'm Taj, digitally known as Tropic Vibes, the host of Nifty Business, where we highlight NFTs and explore Web 3.0 as we move from pure speculation to creating real world value. Since coming into the NFT space, I have met some amazing people. And despite all the horror stories that you may have heard, different people coming across horrible people in Twitter spaces or anything of that nature, generally speaking, I can say my experience has been overwhelmingly positive. That's not to say that there's nothing going wrong online in this Twitter space as far as NFTs and all of that. Yes, Those things are going to happen both online and offline. There's always going to be good people and there's going to be bad people. And something that is both true on and offline is that the people that are giving the most that they're they're serving everyone. They also have a lot of things going on in their lives and many times they neglect themselves. Since coming into this whole NFT space, I've had the pleasure of meeting some great people, but very few people I have come across that have been more giving than my guest for episode number 197, Jay Tunes, or simply known as Jay, in which I interviewed him about his one-of-one character project, the Hoodlum Society, and his other many collections. He is a multi-talented artist with styles that vary from tattoos to cartoons. In that episode, we discuss his past, his inspiration for his different collections, and his family. I don't know if you noticed this, but when he spoke about him coming into the NFT space, he said something along the lines of, well, that was when my wife was very healthy. Most people really don't know this, But during his entire time that he's been in the NFT space, Jay's wife has been ill. She was diagnosed with a very rare autoimmune disease. And as a result, she was in a lot of pain and did not work. Jay was caring for her at home. And by being her caretaker and all the time and commitment that that took, his employer ended up laying him off. So off air, he expressed to me how great the whole Web3 experience has been for him because it has literally allowed him to provide for his family. Needless to say, with all this going on, He's partnered with multiple charities, such as the 4Kids Foundation. He has done art to donate to the families of the shooting in Texas, and so much more, despite his less than ideal situation. Well, for over a year, his wife has been hospitalized, and he's been making the trip back and forth. No longer was he caring for her at home. Like many artists, his art and his drawing was his escape. It absolutely amazes me how much art he could possibly put out, And I've even asked him, it seems like his day has more than 24 hours. But what most people don't know is how bad the situation was getting. And unfortunately, there was no cure for the disease. And at the relatively young age of 31, his wife Rebecca has gone home. Now, Jay is a single father of two children. And despite losing the love of his life, his best friend since his teenage years, he remains upbeat and positive despite how much this must hurt. Of course, none of us likes to see anyone in pain. But knowing that someone so giving, one of our own within the community, could be going through this absolutely rips me apart. As he scrambles to make the arrangements for the funeral, created a post saying that he has art for sale and he's willing to do drawings for anyone's project to help towards the arrangements for his wife. And although I've been a supporter of his art and I absolutely love promoting him, he's just an easy guy to root for, I thought to myself, what more can I possibly do? And in true Web3 fashion... I thought of a way that I can donate my services to help Jay and his family during this time. A lot of people often ask me how I get my Twitter banner. I spent years as a graphic designer. I no longer take clients. However, I do have that skill. So now I do my own designs. However, for this special occasion, I decided to do a fundraiser for Jay and his family by offering custom Twitter banners featuring up to 10 of your favorite NFTs. I will remove the background from the NFT and arrange them on a canvas of your choosing, whatever backdrop you would like. 100% of the proceeds will be going to Jay and his family. And in order to take advantage of the special offer, all you have to do is go to niftybusiness.co slash wax drops. I'll put this in the show notes. However, when you go to that page, you will see there's an NFT for sale currently right now called We Love JTune. By minting that, you'll be able to claim that custom banner that I just spoke about. When I was doing graphic designs, I would charge at least $250 for your social media graphic. However, I'm releasing this NFT for only $19. And with that, you're getting everything that I just mentioned and all of the funds will go straight to Jay. You might be wondering, well, why am I releasing this on WAX? Well, the beautiful thing about WAX is there are no gas fees, so 100% of the fees will go to him. However, if you're an ETH maxi, don't worry, there is something here for you as well. Jay has a lot of art for sale, and if you purchase something directly from him, in other words, a primary sale, 
between now and August 8th, simply contact me and I will also create a banner for you as well. I'm going to keep this episode short and to the point. I mean, this is a very serious thing and I just really want you to check out his art. Check out that link. Everything will be in the show notes. And this is the beauty of NFTs and this great community. We can use this technology for great things and everything can be verified and proven on the blockchain. So with that said, I want to thank you for taking time to listen to this stuff as we're learning and building Web3 together. I ask that you keep Jay and his family in your thoughts and prayers. And as usual, until next time, later. The Nifty Business Show is not investment advice. It provides insights and information within the space. As with anything, please do your own research before making a decision whether you're making an investment or a purchase.